yellow gamer gnome is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this new reach second C using the Dark Blade. This video will show you the fastest way to grind using this sword. But before that, I created a Twitter account. So make sure to follow for future announcements and giveaways. Also guys, to show your support, you can use Star Gold Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Where the Echo Slam! Oh, there it is! Passing forward! There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay guys, so let's just start. As you can see, my favorite starting area is the Pirate Island. Why? Because I can lure 5 bandits at the same time. Okay, that's my only reason. So let's just start grinding the bandits. First, you're gonna need to lure 5 of them. Go. I'm gonna show you our first skill. And that skill is a 1000 slices at Master 1. Let's do it. I said this skill is really good. High damage and multi-target. Which will make our grinding really easy. Again, as always, our target level here is level 10. For the stats, put all your stats in the sword. Next island, the Fountain City. Yes, you heard it correctly, the final island. And this sea, our technique here, just lure one galley pirate. Guys, make sure there's a wall in between you. He cannot hit you. There you go. Use your Z skill, your left clicks, and with just one kill, you will gain 14 levels and 22 levels of mastery. Okay, that's a lot. Our goal here is level 60. Because our goal here is just to unlock the Dark Air Slash and dodge Bobby the Clown, this boss is immune to sword. Okay, so stat check, 30 melee, 30 defense, and 120 sword. Moving on to our next island, the desert. So here we're gonna start with the desert bandits. You're just gonna lure four at a time. You need to defeat eight. There you go. One, two, three, and four. There you go. So now we're gonna use our dark air slash and also 1000 slashes as a combo. There you go. Sets of X and Z skill is enough with some left clicks. Guys, our first goal here is not level, but to grind some bellies. Why? We need 25,000. And when you gather that, go to Frozen Village. Buy the enhancement, the Buso Haki. There you go. Why, Gamer? This increases your defense as well as your damage. To us proof, no Haki, 134 damage. When you turn on your Haki, there you go. Your sword will look like that. Attack, 143. Okay? Okay, so keep grinding. Our goal here is level 75. Next up, the Desert Officers. So they're located here. Lure 3 at a time because you only need 6 to finish a quest. Z and X skill, some left clicks, and I think that will be enough. There you go. Do this twice, again, to finish one quest. Our goal here is to reach level 90. Once you reach that level, stat check, 60 melee and defense, 150 sword. For those who don't know, there's an accessory here. The entrance is here under this chest. Guys, I'm gonna go straight to the point. Don't buy this one because it only increases your uh, sword. No energy or defense buff and it will cost you 150,000 and 300 sword stats. So it's a no. Next island, the Frozen Village. Don't forget to buy the Sky Jump. The Flash Step. But I think we don't have money for the Flash Step. We're just gonna grind for it. We're gonna start by defeating the Snow Bandits. Okay, so you need to lure 5 here. You need to defeat 7, right? So you can just lure 5. As a reminder, make sure to lure them properly, okay? And then use your Z and X skill. There you go. You only need to level up 15 times here, which means our goal is to reach level 105. When you reach that level, mini boss in this island, the Yeti. So aside from using your Z and X skill, you can also use the M1, M1 dash. See that, guys? M1 dash. This strategy is effective if your enemy doesn't have ranged attacks, okay? So guys, just keep on using it. You can also dodge this skill of your enemy. The goal here is to reach level 120. Okay, so once you reach that level, stat check, 90 melee and defense, sword 180. Next island, the Marine Fortress. So here guys, we're gonna start with the Chief Petty Officers. Now you can lure fourth time, but before that, we're gonna buy this first. There you go, the refined slingshot to lure enemies faster. Okay, so lure four. There you go. Three and four. Then use your ZN skill. Guys, avoid using M1 clicks here. 
They have good range with their sword. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 130. And after that, you can start defeating the Vice Admiral. But guys, before that, there's an accessory here which you should buy. You should buy the Black Cape. This cape increases your energy, defense, and damage for only 50,000. This is a lot better comparing it to the Swordsman's Hat. Okay? Okay, so let's check it out. As you can see, the damage is 22, but with the Black Cape, the damage is 233, okay? So now, moving on to the Vice Admiral. Guys, use your Z and X skill to damage. Now, you're gonna dash to the side. Okay, you're gonna dodge this skill of his. So guys, dash to the side to dodge his skills, okay? When you follow that strategy, everything will be fine. Our goal here is to reach level 210. And after that, stat check before we move on to our next island. Melee defense 180, sword 273. Our next island is the prison. We're gonna start here with the dangerous prisoners. Again, at 210, we're gonna lure here. I'm gonna show you how. So first, use your slingshot. There you go. This is the second one. Guys, make sure that make them meet in between, okay? Because some of the mobs might go back to the spawn point. There you go. Use your Z and X skill to defeat them. The goal here is to reach level 220, okay? Make sure to lure properly. There you go. When you reach that level, you can now start defeating the warden. I'm gonna show you how to defeat the warden easily. And you're gonna grind this mob until 230. There you go. You're just gonna lure him and in the wall, he cannot damage you, okay? Very easy. Next up, Chief Warden. So guys, you're gonna grind here until 240. Again, lure him. Same strategy. <laughs> in the wall. There you go. Left clicks is enough. There you go. So again, 240. When you reach 240, you're gonna start grinding Swan. Guys, you can defeat them all, okay? I'm not saying just one, but this is how you defeat Swan. There you go. Same. Left clicks in the wall. Goal here is 350, okay? I hope everything is clear. Stat check. 210 melee. Defense is 350. 484. Sword. Guys, we are halfway there. Magma Village is next. We're gonna go straight with the Magma Admiral. So here you go. Game or not, is it hard to defeat? No. Use your Z and X skill as usual. You can use your left clicks. But guys, make sure to dodge to the side. Like this one until he uses this skill. There you go. And once he uses that, you can attack him again. Is that the strategy? Yes, that's it. There's no wall here. <laughs> so just be patient. There you go. Dodge, skill, dodge, skill. So the goal here is to reach level 425. Okay? So when you reach that level, next island is the underwater city. Here, guys, the boss is a lot easier. So guys, let's head to the Fishman Lord. There you go. So he's located here. Just lure him. Pick your window of choice. There you go. Remember the Warden, Chief Warden, and the Swan Technique. Fishman Lord can only inflict minimal damage. Okay, so don't be distracted or don't panic every time he attacks you. Okay? Okay, so as you can see, it's very easy. Just left clicks. Our goal here is to reach level 500. Don't worry, guys. Leveling up here is still fast. One Fishman Lord is equal to one or two level ups. So we start check. Melee 210, defense 578, board. Next up, guys, is Skyland, second to the last island. There you go. We're gonna go straight in the upper yard. Here, we're gonna start defeating the Whisper. He is the mini boss. Actually, there are two bosses here in the upper yard. So, guys, remember our strategy with the Magma Admiral. You're gonna do the same here. Attack, dash to the side. There you go. That's the skill that you want to dodge, the bazooka. You will be needing lots of energy here because you're gonna dash. So, you need to add energy stats from now on, okay? So, notice my stats on energy going up. The goal here is to reach 575. And next up, the Thunder God. Okay, so here we go. It's again, our strategy is located here. Same strategy, guys. Same strategy. Use Z and X, dodge to the side. Sometimes you can use your M1, but if you want to be safe, just use your Z and X skill. But make sure to hit him with that, okay? Our goal here is 675, and with that, final island, last 25 level ups, the Fountain City. So as you know, we're done with the Galley Pirates. We're gonna go straight with the Cyborg, right? Galley Pirates uh, at level 10. There you go. The technique here, same guys. It's just that this Cyborg has more uh, attacks. I think he has like three or four attacks, so don't be distracted by that. It's the same. Use your skills, dodge to the side, use your skills, M1, etc. Okay? 
So guys, the goal here, again, last 25 levels. And when you reach level 700, you can now do your second C quest. Final stats, 300 melee. Defense is 700, 1,100 sword. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the prison and get the key from the military detective. Okay, after that, we're gonna swim towards the frozen village. But first, this is the key. There you go, at frozen village, you're gonna use the key to open this door. You're gonna fight the ice admiral. Okay, never mind what he's gonna say. There you go, go back to the military detective. Talk to him and then he will tell you to go to the second CS via the middle town, okay? We just need to find his friend. What is his name? The what do you call this? The experienced captain. Yes. Experienced captain located here. There you go. And this experienced captain will then send you to the second C. There you go, we got the badge. Finally, guys, you were able to do this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is Gamer Nom. In Gamer Nom out.